found this poaching barrel. And I know exactly what it is because look at this. This is a cringe top. Okay. And then we found two pieces of wire. Where's that other wire? And this ain't no ordinary cable. This is thick cable. I mean, yeah, you can pick it about anywhere, but these suckers are on tight. And there's deer hair all over right here. And uh, we know they're poaching because there's been a lot of activity down here about people taking deer illegally out of ranchers fields and they're pulling the deer off because uh, just over that hill there's a big ranch and uh, they're pulling the deer off of that and they're killing them and uh, so we're going to kind of demobilize this one here get this one all taken apart well worth the hassle if you ask me Poaching is not what honest hunters do. There'll be people that do it for fun. There'll be people that do it because they feel like it. And then there's the people that do it for the meat. The meat hunters, they take the meat. And, uh, and then there's this one that just cuts the heads off. We're getting the people that do just cut the heads off and they'll shoot them here, load up the body because the main there's a road right back over here on the other side, there's trees right here. And uh, they'll load them up and take them somewhere and dump them and, so they don't have anything to worry about near their bait. They'll shoot does or bucks, whatever. If it's horn hunter, they'll do about anything. Why? We got more blood right here. Kate. Got more deer here. There's blood right here. Dried up blood. Um, yeah. Really pisses me off when I find stuff like this. Not really a good sight for uh, honest hunters like me. My family's honest about it. We, we fill our tags and nothing more. Then my buddies, they're just like me. They're honest. Then you get people that just feel like killing for the horn since they're at a good price. Hey Dylan, um, I need you to run out and grab your tool set. Here, I'll we'll hold the camera. But, now, I noticed it, and I hunt all the time up by Plains, Thompson Falls. Now, it's your ordinary setup. There's the barrel, and you can set up a game camera right over there or right here to find out what is exactly going on in this particular area and exactly what time they're showing up and all that. And uh, it's an honest poaching ring that we're, well, not really honest, but we're destroying one of the poaching operations here in western montana and uh looks like we got there's a water bottle looks like we got ourselves an old campsite or something huh kind of interesting how close it is to that I'm going to do a little looking for brass or anything to kind of give us a clue on to if there, if there was a poaching operation here. Wouldn't surprise me if there was. I've seen a lot of bucks out here while out riding 
and uh, it's your on the setup and it's nothing it's probably it's really nothing because there's Dylan by the barrel you shine the spotlight and there's spotlights that can go quite a range from that dead tree right there cleared over here and you can see exactly every detail there is just pisses me off we're uh we're doing a little more looking um i know a couple more poaching operations up around uh reservoir called crow dam i uh got permission to set up game cameras to look for usually poachers they'll set up a game camera next to their thing in the summer and fall because they'll start loading up this spring anytime now and they'll put a game camera up and they'll know who touches it or not all right so we're gonna just get this out of here and we're gonna move on down the trail so all right montana boys out there's some more deer here all right